While CapCut can't really compete with software like After Effects, what if there was a way to create trending animations inside CapCut? This app may be the laziest student in class, but it's also the fastest at creating cool stuff. Even if it sounds impossible, you'll be shocked when I actually make them and show you the techniques I use, things you won't find anywhere else on the internet. So let's start with my favorite subject, morphing, turning one object into another, like a circle turning into a star, or one face changing into another. The first time this effect showed up in movies was back in 1986, in a film called Flight of the Navigator. Then, in Terminator 2, we saw that smooth, liquid metal robot that could change shape. Later, Michael Jackson's black or white music video used morphing to turn people's faces into each other. Today, you'll see a lot of people using morphing in videos or motion graphics. And while CapCut can't handle super complex morphs, I'm going to show you some of the coolest and easiest ways to create motion design and caption effects right inside CapCut. All right, so let's start by adding a text layer to the timeline. Just type a space and scale it up to around 85. Then go to the background settings, turn it on and pick a gray shade, something simple. Now increase the width a lot until it stretches into a nice big rectangle. Right click on the layer and make it a compound clip. After that, head over to the mask section, add a mask and choose the rectangle option. Increase the rounded corners all the way up. Then create a keyframe for the size of the mask. Drag that keyframe just a few frames forward from the very beginning. Now go back to the start of the clip and scale the mask down super small basically to the minimum. Around the one second mark, copy that previous keyframe and paste it there, then move a few more frames forward and adjust the size again to give it that nice morphing effect. Now it's starting to look really good. Right click on the layer and open up the keyframe animation settings. Select all the keyframes for the X scale and choose the rebound out curve. Do the same for the Y scale, same preset. This bounce just makes the whole animation feel smoother and more natural. Right where that shape is transforming, go ahead and add another text layer, this time with the actual text you wanna show. Feel free to change the font here too. Then go into the animation options, and under the in animations, pick one called bounce left. It fits the movement perfectly. Now it gives that nice bounce while the shape is morphing underneath. After that, just select both layers and turn them into another compound clip. And for the final touch, search for Glow in the Effects tab and drag Glow 2 onto the timeline. And that's it. We just made our first morph animation. In the next part, I'll show you how to create a caption text morph. And trust me, it's super simple. But before we dive into the next part, I've got a surprise for you. Instead of spending hours editing, you can use our pre-made templates from the Auto AE website. Just log in, pick any template using their new filter system by category, creator, style, or orientation, then click and customize it all online. You can export everything and finish your video in a free app like CapCut. It saves you up to 90% of your editing time. And the surprise? They just gave us a 40% discount code for the annual plan but it's only valid for three days. After that, it goes back to full price. I've dropped the code down below in the comments. Okay, let's start by adding the audio we wanna use for the captions into the timeline. Then just go to the captions tab and click generate. Once they're ready, select all the captions and head over to the animation tab. Under the caption section, look for bounce out and apply it. This part's really important. It makes the words appear one by one. Now I'm going to change the font to something nicer, scale it up a bit and move it to the center of the screen. Next, select all the captions again and turn them into a compound clip. In the video tab, find the motion blur option and turn it on. Increase the blend to the max and choose speed to six times. 
Now wait till it applies. And just like that, we made our morphing caption, which is very trending these days. Now the next part is 3D rotation, and you might like this one a lot. Let's start by adding a text layer into the timeline. I'm going to create a circle here, type a space, and increase the size a bit. Then go to the background, turn it on, and choose a color. Now increase the rounded rectangle all the way to the maximum, then increase the width until it starts looking like a circle. Next, right-click on the layer and create a compound clip. A couple frames after the beginning, I'm going to first turn off uniform scale, then add a keyframe for the width scale at 100%. A few frames forward, scale the width down to the minimum. Then a few frames after that, bring it back up to 100%. Now, as you can see, we kind of have the movement, but let's make it even better. Copy the layer and paste it above the original one. Then go into that compound clip and change the background color to something different. Now go back to the main composition. Right where the width scale hits the minimum, trim both layers. Delete the first part of the duplicated layer and delete the second part of the original one. This way, when it rotates, it changes color. Right-click on the first layer. Open the keyframe animation. Select both keyframes, and from the curve presets, choose Cubic In. Then do the same for the second layer. But this time, choose Cubic Out. Now close the keyframe animation for both layers. I also want to add text inside the circle. So go to the second layer and type your text. Choose any style you like. Then go back to the first layer's composition and add another text there. Now we've got a circle that looks like it's rotating in 3D. The color changes, and the text swaps, too. For the final step, select both layers and create a compound clip. Then turn on motion blur to give the movement a smoother feel. We're done, but I've got some great news for CapCut users, and I'll be back soon.